Welcome to Classic Game Room. Have you ever tried to beat up punks with your Sega Game Gear? You should, with Streets of Rage 2 for the Game Gear. It also makes a formidable weapon just by itself. Look at this thing. It's like a brick. Bam. You've got to love any video game that has the female lead fighting bad guys in a red vinyl miniskirt with a matching cut-off red top as well as cooked meat laying beneath trash cans that mysteriously replenishes your health. Streets of Rage 2 has both of these things, so you've gotta love it. By law. Streets of Rage 2 from Sega was originally released in 1992 for the Sega Genesis, or the Mega Drive. It remains an extremely popular and playable game today, and these big Sega Genesis games don't always make for good Game Gear games, but this one does, although it's quite different, as you can see. There's only three playable characters instead of four, and the visuals and the combat have been simplified, although the music still rocks. Most importantly, it plays like Streets of Rage 2, even on the small screen with only two buttons. It retains the look and feel of Streets of Rage 2. This scene always confuses me. I can never tell if he's fighting her or if he paid her for this. It's, it's not entirely clear. Let's be honest, while it falls short of the 16-bit original, those of you lucky enough to have a Sega Game Gear back in 1993 had the most badass handheld side-scrolling beat-em-up ever. Two decades later, there's many different ways to enjoy Streets of Rage 2, it's on pretty much everything. And this isn't the best version, but it's still a very good version for the time. As you can see, it runs smoothly and it plays nicely. It plays like Streets of Rage, too. I did not have a Game Gear back in the early 90s. If I did, I would have bought this game and then rubbed it in all of my Game Boy owning friends' faces. Look, it's color! It's Streets of Rage! It has food laying under trash cans. This even has a two-player option, which I was not able to test. I assume you would use one of those Game Gear Link cables. I'm not sure how they would have fit two people onto one Game Gear. You take one button, I'll take the other, and we'll share the D-pad. Now, here's the only thing more disgusting than food laying under trash cans. Food laying under alien egg sacs. That can't possibly be sanitary. Sega should be ashamed of themselves, because that sends a bad message to children. Kids, don't, don't eat food laying under alien egg sacs. Like any version of Streets of Rage, you don't want to get surrounded by enemies. Although I got my ass handed to me by that jetpack guy, I always have trouble with him. Streets of Rage 2 was sent to the show by our friend Robert from Surrey, British Columbia. Which, surprisingly, is not in Britain or Columbia, it's in Canada! Thanks again to Robert, and thanks to all of the awesome people who made this game, because you rock. Streets of Rage 2, for the Game Gear.